So here is our simple circuit. We have a 230 volt AC supply, 50 hertz is the frequency. We have connected it to a 2 ohm resistance in series with one Henry inductor, which is in series with 10.1 microfarad capacitor. Now this circuit has resistance, it has inductance, it also has capacitance. But irrespective of that, this circuit operates or acts like a pure resistive circuit. Yes, that is correct. And to prove you that, uh, what we will do, we will analyze the waveform of this circuit, voltage and current waveform, and then that will make the picture more clear. So what we'll do, we'll be adding a voltmeter and an ammeter. And by the way, the simulator that I'm using here is every circuit. So ammeter, we are going to connect in series with our supply. And voltmeter, we will connect it across all the uh, component that we have to measure the voltage here. So what we'll do, we'll now analyze the waveform here. Now let me run the simulation. So as you can see on the top, the waveform has started generating and the green waveform represents the voltage and the another one represents the current. Now you can see both these waveforms are perfectly in phase with each other. Now, what do we mean by in phase? In phase means both the waveforms reaches their zero at the same time. Both the waveforms reaches their positive peak at the same time and both the waveforms reaches their negative peak at the same time. And you can see uh, in, in this waveforms, both voltage and current are perfectly in phase with each other. And this situation we have seen in the previous videos of AC circuit playlist occurs only in case of a purely resistive circuit, right? But the same thing is also happening here in the RLC circuit. Now this we can also prove using the mathematical expressions. So now let us check that out. So here is our circuit. Uh, first of all, we need to identify the total opposition that is being offered by this circuit. That means the impedance we have to identify. And for that first, we need to calculate the values of inductive reactance XL and capacitive reactance XC. XL, we know the formula is 2 pi FL. And if you put the values in this formula and calculate the result will be a 314 ohms. Similarly, for XC, the formula would be 1 divided by 2 pi FC. And if you calculate this, the resultant XC would be 314 ohms approximately. Now we have seen in the previous video that to find out the impedance in RLC circuit, we have a formula and that is Z is equals to square root of R square plus XL minus XC square. And this formula is really, really important. And based on this, the behavior of RLC circuit is determined. And there are three conditions basically that uh, we have seen in the previous video as well. And the first condition is that if the value of XL minus XC is equals to a positive number, that means the inductive reactance is more dominant than the capacitive reactance. And in such case, the circuit operates or acts like an inductive circuit clear and in that case the current lags the voltage so if the value of inductive reactance is lesser than the capacitive reactance then the rlc circuits acts as a inductive circuit clear that is condition one the second condition that we have seen is if the value of xl minus xc is equals to a negative number that means the XC here is more dominant than the XL and as a result the number will be negative and in that case the RLC circuit acts as a capacitive circuit and in such circuit the current I will lead the voltage clear understood the two conditions now there can be a third condition where the value of XL minus XC would be zero that means both xl and xc are equal and opposite and as a result the value of xl minus xc would be zero and in such case the resist uh, rlc circuit acts as a purely resistive circuit and in that case the 
there won't be any phase ang phase lag between voltage and current the voltage and current will be would be perfectly in phase with each other and in the circuit that we have seen the third condition is met and as a result the voltage and current are perfectly in phase and the circuit is operating as a purely resistive circuit clear understood these three conditions are really important in order to understand the rlc circuit so now let us get back to our calculation we will find out the uh, you know impedance here so z is equals to if we put the values here the impedance would come around 2 ohms clear now we can also identify the phase angle between the circuit current and the circuit voltage and that how we can do they are using tan phi is equals to xl minus xc divided by resistance so uh, to solve this further tan phi is equals to xl is how much 314 xc is again 314 divided by 2 so that's gonna give us 0 and so phi is equals to tan inverse of 0 would give phi is equals to 0 that means the phase angle between voltage and current is 0 and this is also uh, this we have also proved mathematically here and this again says that this particular circuit is operating as a purely resistive circuit clear understood now let me know using the comment section below what would be the current that is flowing in the circuit clear and if you are interested in understanding or having more data on ac circuits then you can join my free course on the website links is given down in the description right so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning